Hi there, Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my another video. In this video, we will go through some logic gates. So here I made five logic gates using Tinkercad. First of all, let's understand what logic gates. Basically, logic gates are uh, idealized model of computation for uh, electronic, and uh, they can implement uh, Boolean functions. And uh, they have uh, one or more binary inputs that which can convert one output binary output. As you can see here there are two inputs switches and uh, one binary output which is LED. That's the basic definition of uh, universal case or logic case. There are five gates. Actually there are two more exclusive gates but I'm not discussing them. Here I made these gates. First two will be understanding not gate. So here yeah, this is our not gate, the simplest in circuit. It has simple circuit. I'm using here BC547 pin transistor. Three resistors of the same value, one kilo ohm and one uh, button, which is our input, and uh, here one LED, which is output and nine volt battery. So what happened in this is that it has one input named as A and uh, output LED. So if it is zero, first of all let me start the simulation. Yeah, by clicking this icon, you can start simulation. So simulation has been started. Now what happens in this is that if we press zero, if our input is zero, our output should be one, which is it right now. Uh, here a um, button is off and our LED is on. But as soon as I have turned it on, our LED should turn off. Our LED is off now. So Again, I will turn it off. Our LED will be on. I will turn it on. Our LED will be off. So it is. And uh, this was the simple NOT gate. Now I will move to the OR gate. OR gate is using two N pin transistors, VC547. They are collector to collector are connected. They are emitter to emitter are connected. And we are powering uh, its collector directly and uh, emitter with a one. 100 ohm resistor so in this circuit uh, this resistance value is important it should be precise so here we are using our LED as the emitter out output so it is using two inputs what happened in this is that if both of them both of inputs are zero our output should be zero and uh, again the second condition is that even if one of them is on and the other is off our LED should be on so let's try that here uh, one is off and the other is on our LED is on so if I will turn it off and turn the other one on our LED should turn on so it is doing right now our LED is on but if I turn both of them on here nothing will change our LED should be on so our LED is on these were the four conditions for our OR gate it has two inputs and one output. Now we will move to the AND gate. So this is our AND gate, and uh, again I'm using two BC547 and LED and a bunch of resistors. Three of them are one kilo ohm, and the other one is 100 ohm. So nine volt voltage. So here are two inputs. So what happened in this is that if both of them are zero, our output should be zero. If even one of them is zero our LED should again be zero so in the last condition in LED will not turn on unless both inputs are high so right now LED is on and uh, because our both inputs are high both inputs are at state of one so if I turn one of them zero so here I turn one um, input A zero our LED turned off if I turn it on and I turn B off our LED should again turn off so it did our LED is off now so here yeah, it is fading off slowly because of this my PC so uh, anyways let's turn both of them off so both of them are off now our LED should be off it is zero output is zero if I turn both of them on then our LED should turn on here it is now they both are universal gates mm, by saying universal gate we mean that any gate 
which can implement boolean function without need of uh, any other logic gate and it can make any other logic gate without need of any other logic gate <laughs> and that's kind of weird but that's the statement so here I made the table here which is unnecessary here it was too lengthy to make it so I couldn't make it for others anyway it's the same circuit to PC547 and uh, the output at collector and uh, our resistor of 20 ohm and 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm, 3 resistors so there are two inputs what happens in this is that if both of them are here if even one of them is 0 our LED should be 0 both of them are 1 inputs are 1 our output should be 0 right now here as you can see our switches are both switches are on yeah, so they both are in one condition straight one and our LED is 0 if even one of them is 0 and the other one is 1 LED should glow let me make it 0 here I made A input 0 and the B input 1 our LED is glowing if I make A1 so here A1 and B0 our LED should be glowing it is doing that so if I turn both of them 0 our LED should be glowing it is the case 1 here it is glowing our LED is glowing NAND gate is more fascinating gate I love NAND gate a complex feeling I don't know what to name it but it is the best gate I love so here this is NOR gate again the circuit is same it should be here collector is connected to collector emitter is connected to connected to emitter and uh, emitter is directly powered to ground and uh, our collector is using a resistor of 220 ohm and to power so in these few as uh, gears in which I used 220 ohm or 100 ohm resistor they were precisely my head. so here I have LED is glowing so let me tell you what happened in this instead uh, it has two inputs A and B inputs and one output Q so what happened in this is that if both of them are 0 our output will be 1 so here both of them are 0 our LED is glowing if even one of them is on our LED should still not glow and it is not glowing so I will turn this one again both of them are 1 our LED is 0 so it is a mm, far more opposite to the NAND gate so it is I will turn it off 1 off LED is not glowing if I turn both of them off both of inputs are 0 our output is 1 so this was not gate and it has 4 conditions there also so these both not gate and NAND gate are universal gates which means they can implement boolean function without need of any other gate so these were the 5 gates that I made using tinker gate and uh, I enjoyed while making them so here are 5 gates I'll share circuits I guess I will share anyways this was all for today I hope you liked it goodbye take care